In a move watched around the world, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi landed in Taipei late Tuesday, defying threats from China. Flight Tracker said her arrival was the most tracked live flight ever. Some Taipei residents turned out to cheer and film her arrival. China responded by launching military exercises in both the seas and airspace surrounding Taiwan and by lodging a formal protest with the U.S. ambassador to China, Nicholas Burns. Beijing also tweeted out a video by State Councilor and Foreign Minister Wang Yi calling Pelosi's visit a farce and perverse and saying those who offend China will be punished. The White House sought to reduce tensions, saying the United States remains fully committed to its long-standing one-China policy, which recognizes Beijing but allows informal relations and defense ties with Taipei. There's no reason for Beijing to turn this visit, uh, uh, you know, which is consistent with our policy, into some sort of crisis or to use it as a pretext uh, to increase aggressive activity in or around the Taiwan uh, Strait. China claims self-governed Taiwan as its own and regards Pelosi's visit as a provocation. Brookings Institution's Michael O'Hanlon tells VOA. When Taiwan welcomes the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the third ranking American official in the chain of command, then that seems perilously close in China's mind to a reestablishment of diplomatic relations, or at least a, a kind of rapport that smacks of diplomatic relations, which of course implies uh, that the United States is treating Taiwan as a country. Pelosi met with Taiwan's president, Tsai Ing-wen, at the presidential palace and assured her the United States would not abandon its commitment to Taiwan. Tsai said the island of 23 million people would continue to hold the line in support of democracy and would not back down in the face of military threats from China. O'Hanlon says he does not believe Pelosi's visit will trigger a crisis. I think that China will feel the need to attract some attention with its response to make us all feel a little bit worried for a few days and in the hope that that will discourage any repetition of this sort of thing. But I don't expect this to mushroom into a full-blown crisis on its own. Pelosi left Taiwan on Wednesday and headed to South Korea as the 82-year-old speaker continues her history-making tour of Asia.